Hey, with Angular's new computed signals, our data is reactive. From my list of vehicles, I select a vehicle to see its details. I click Add to Cart, and my cart badge data reacts, displaying the number of items in the cart. I'll pick another vehicle, click Add to Cart, and the badge data again reacts. I'll click on my cart, and I see my two vehicles. But the cart totals don't yet react to changes in the cart. In this video, we walk through how to use computed signals to react to cart changes. We'll calculate the cart totals, and those values will automatically react and recalculate as needed. If you are completely new to signals, check out my Angular Signals What, Why, and How video. Let's jump in and create some computed signals. Here is my cart service. I already have the code that creates the cart as a signal. The signal contains an array of cart items. And here are the methods to add a vehicle to the cart, remove a vehicle from the cart, and update the quantity of the item. I walked through this code in my prior video. See this video's notes for the link. Now let's add the computed signals we need to calculate the cart subtotal, the appropriate delivery fee, the taxes, and the total. Let's start with the subtotal. We use the computed function and pass in how we want the subtotal to be computed. We'll process each cart item in the cart item signal using the array reduce method. This method loops through each item in the array, providing an accumulator, which is the return value from the prior calculation, and the current array item. For each item, we multiply the quantity of items times the vehicle's cost in credits. And let's use the number method to ensure that cost is numeric. Then we add the result to the accumulator. And we pass in zero as the last argument to the reduce method to define the initial value of the accumulator. Since cart items is a signal, the subtotal will automatically recalculate any time the cart items array is modified. If the customer adds or removes an item from the cart, it will recalculate. If the customer changes the quantity of an item, it will recalculate. Cool! Next, we define the delivery fee. We use the computed function and pass in our delivery fee calculation. For my store, delivery is free if the customer spends more than 100,000 credits, so I'll use a ternary operator. If the content of the subtotal signal is less than 100,000, then the delivery fee is 9.99. Otherwise, it's zero. Since the subtotal is a signal, the delivery fee is automatically recalculated whenever the subtotal changes. Next is the tax. We use the computed function and pass in our tax calculation. We'll go with a 10.75% tax on the subtotal and use math.round for a round number. Lastly, we total the above three signals. We again use the computed function. We then sum up our subtotal, delivery fee, and tax signals. Next, we need to reference the signals from the service in the cart total component. I'll open Explore, open the cart total component, and here it is. I already have variables created for each of these values, and they are already bound in the template. We just need to change each of these to reference the signal in the service. This dot cart service dot subtotal. This dot cart service dot delivery fee. This dot cart service dot tax. And this dot cart service dot total price. Let's see if that works. I still have the code running, so I'll bring up the browser. I'll select an item from the list of vehicles and click Add to Cart. Let's pick another one and click Add to Cart. Clicking on the Cart option, we see the two items in the cart. And we see our totals. A little quick mental math and those values look right. Let's change the quantity of one of the items. And our totals automatically recalculate. Let's delete one of the items. And our totals again recalculate. Excellent. Let's go back to the code. 
With angular computed signals, our data automatically reacts to changes in other signals. No need to handle events or create a subject, it just works. Thanks for watching, and I'd appreciate a like and a click on that subscribe button.